controllers weird as shit. <laughs> He's gotta get acclimated. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Attempters. With your host, Caboose. Oh, show place. And guest. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> and good start. My friend and uh, owner. <laughs> I called you my owner. <laughs> oh god! We gotta get to the other side of town or the bomb's gonna go off! Is that what you're going for? Nice. Why are you walking? You can steal cars in this, you know. I'm afraid of cops. Have you, have you ever played Mafia 1? No. Don't. Don't, don't play that terribly. Wait, terrible yes, I did. Never mind. Game. I did actually play it because the driving only goes 40 miles per hour, also. <laughs> I played it on uh, on Xbox. I actually have it. I own it. But I tried to do the first mission, dude, and I couldn't figure out where to go. Like, hey, I was circling around for like five fucking hours. Press X at the door. Oh. That's nice to know. Yeah, you should know things. Anyways, I said I was co-host, and this is my guest, Bu Bubba. Ah. A.K.A. Excuse Mr. Cup. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? Oh, his name's Joe. I was close. I thought it was John. What are you looking at, you old bet? Shh. <laughs> gonna say broad, but it turned into bitch. It sounded like you... Come on, baby, you know you want some of this. I these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting. Okay, it's fat cousin. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Damn! Come on, okay? Pick up where we left off. That is some 1950s pussy right there. That, uh, Laura Croft's status boobs. <laughs> no, they're wearing brassiers, dude. Brassiers are hella pointy. So are Laura Croft's boobies. Maybe she was wearing a fucking brassiere. <laughs> I doubt it. In a tank top? <laughs> We've talked an awfully a lot, a lot about Laura Croft's titties. Should we get into, like, the science of it or something? <laughs> no. I like Laura Croft, though. I like the new one. Like, the old ones, of course, are tiny classics, and they're some of the hardest fucking games I've ever played. Yeah. But the new one just it brought it back to life, and it was great. Yeah. I really, really well, enjoyed it. Well, it, it brought it into the open world. Right now, I'm living off yeah. the Because it's, it's it, it, I have it on Xbox 360, but it's like an open world island adventure. I love it. See, if you had Xbox One, you would have gotten the deluxe version for completely for free. That's what I've been playing. I had it on Xbox 360, and then I got it on Xbox One, and it was just. I got oh, you so to happy you're playing it again. I played halfway through the game, you know, before my Xbox recently decided to delete all my data. Mm. I'm still mad about that. Anger. You made enough cash yeah. for all this. Every time I think about it, dude, the anger just rises in my belly. Every time I think of my wife, something else rises for me. Also, how did that fat motherfucker get two bitches to come back to his apartment? Probably because he has money. <laughs> yeah. See, it's all about what Scarface said. First you get the money, then you get the power. When you get the power, that's when you get the bitches. I added on the bitches part. Follow Joe to his garage. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm into it. <laughs> but only for a little bit. I just got back from the war, you know, we experimented a little bit. It was only men, what could I do? Drive, Vito? Tucked it between their legs and, and never drove a <laughs> Joe, I was driving on And I called him Mary. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank, I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... You're gonna find out soon. Hey, you're gonna let me drive In 1960s. All right, all right, here's the when key. When Jeeps become pretty popular, I think. 
All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little Wait, more. Wait, when did Jeep become popular? That's the pedal over there on the Was right. it the 80s? Wrong dude for that, man. I know. I have no idea, dude. Wee. Wee. Going 60 miles an hour because that's as fast as a car could go back in that day. Okay, now make a right. Is that true? Not you, right? What? I'm a fucking. I'll rape your mouth if you tell me to shut my leg. <laughs> right here. Then just go straight for <laughs> Uh, I have worn lingerie of Rainbow Park. I went to, uh, in, in uh, college, they had this thing called the, uh, cross-dressing balls? No, I think that's what it is. But it's like a ball held by the LGBT community or whatever. And then, like, women dress as men and men dress as women. It's pretty fun. Nice. You, you get hella drunk, you smoke a bunch of weed, and then you go dress like a chick. It's pretty funny. It's kind of like how uh, me and my cousins back in the day, um, they knew the owners of this gay bar. And, seriously. And I was like 14 or 15 because they were so cool with the owners, they just let me in. And I was able to go in and hang out with them. And I'm like, gay bars are the best place for guys that like either are in a relationship or aren't, you know, thirsty, stupid sons of bitches. Because you, really you seriously the could go in there, you may get free drinks from other guys and stuff, and just talk the whole time. And it's amazing. See, I, I want to go to a gay bar for one thing. I want to build my confidence. I just want to go to a gay bar and, and, you know, feel special for once. You know what I mean? Feel like an act like how a woman does when she goes to a bar and gets free drinks and gets oh, no. hit on. If a dude likes you, then you're gonna get hit on by a really thirsty gay dude, and it's um, <laughs> all bets are pretty much off. So. Hey, it's not like I haven't sucked a dick in my life. <laughs> Once again, fruit and produce was the sign on there, and that was just like. The best possible time. It's a 42 Jefferson. Now, you know, anal sex, that would be out. You but, you know, for, for some free drinks, I'd suck it. You should grab yourself some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick up some lockpicks. <laughs> yeah, so you can lockpick some... Uh... It, he's got it. Even sells phony gun permits and I like this. I wish this was real. It probably is real. Hey, who's that? I brought you a new custom. I wish I could go to an old man and be like, you got it? He's like, yeah, I got it. This is Vito, my old ah, friend. guns! This is Giuseppe. I've gone to an old man and be like, ah, you got it, and then he pulls his pants down. So, it still happens, just not in the context that we wanted to. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army would bother you again, trust me. They did pretty well on the lip syncing on this game, huh? Take your papers, Vito. Couldn't even tell that old man was actually talking. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. Oh, guess this is cool. Crazy. This is how they fucking get him out of the army. Because apparently he's only on leave Jesus right now. Seven dollars in a lockpick? Get to. Grazie. Did he have a you gun, a too? Right now. Give me a gun. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock. Ah, uh, the pick. pick. Seriously? It's like the third time. To hold the pins one by it's still going there. Yeah. The <laughs> the pins are set. Oh, this one's gonna be bad, and I know it. God, is this gonna be another fucking pat? <laughs> oh, God. Please, please don't. Oh, no. We are in a confi confined <laughs> space in this room, okay? Oh, God! Oh, fuck that Jesus Christ. Oh. Will you do the lock picking segment, you bitch? I'm fucking trying here. Liz. Oh, it's down to move it upwards? Yeah, you're pretty good. Oh, fuck my ass. Damn it. Fuck my ass and call me a bitch? Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. God, that was fucking dead. That was fucking disgusting, dude. What the fuck? It's not what I ate. It's what's coming out from like three days ago. Okay. You still feel like snagging that car? Well, yeah, because the Denny's was probably pretty good. Plus, it takes like ten hours for you to digest food. 
Ah, oh, that reminds me. Did you hear about that fucking dude? Um, apparently there's this rare disease, right? Where when you shit, it doesn't shit. You can't shit. It got it, it gets stuck in your colon or whatever. And it just stays there. It just stays in your colon. So this guy, he had the, a 50 pound shit in his fucking, in his colon. Like that he was just accumulating since he was a child. So they had to cut it out. And there's a picture on like BuzzFeed or, or fucking whatever news site did it. But it's just like a, it looks like a giant fucking tumor. It's disgusting. It's like a big old pregnant belly and stuff. It was nasty. Made me think of, uh... Made, made me think of How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> I was wishing that one were gonna get taken out. Did you hear my joke? I said it reminded me of How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> no, it reminded me of fucking... The centipede. Like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. Well, after you fucking right, smash it. Hey, that don't sound oh, cheap. Like don't worry about it. Right here. <laughs> Just find any that wasn't shop. I know the guy who runs it. Here, park right here in front of the garage door. Hey! Come in and let me, uh, you know. I don't know why I keep doing an Italian accent. <laughs> Should be doing a Brooklyn accent or something? Alrighty, we should probably... We will see you in the next Thanks. realm, everybody. Why don't you fucking finish changing the plates first? Because that'll be safe for the next episode. I, I, I gotta sink it, douche. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next realm, everybody. And uh, subscribe to YouTube and uh, follow me on Vidme. And if you really, really want to, subscribe to me on Vidme. Which is only a dollar a month, and it really, really helps out. And soon, I promise soon, there will be lots and lots of exclusive film, exclusive film content that you can only see with the dollar that you give me. <laughs> Anyways, bye, my precious cakes. Bye, bye.